Hi, I'm Cindy Gorski. I'm the drama teacher here at Pacific Collegiate School. I was able to go to Scotland this summer. They send the teachers the year before to see what the Fringe Festival is like, and it's pretty amazing. There's about 100 and what, 150,000 performers just all over Scotland. I think this is a great opportunity for my son and, and all the other uh, kids that are going to get to go to Edinburgh. I am so excited. I see no better way to culminate all my years of drama. It's the largest international performing arts festival in the world, and the students will be a part of that. They'll get to go see uh, performers from all over the world. It's really an incredible honor that um, we were chosen. For the French Festival. We are the first school in Santa Cruz County that's ever been given this, this honor. And so we were nominated by someone um, at Salinas High School. Her name is Nancy Bernhardt. And we applied and our intrepid thespians sent in applications and videos of our work. And here we are. Now they accepted us and we're off to raise the money to have this opportunity, which I'm stoked for. And out of 160 schools, they select somewhere between 35 and 40 schools to come and perform in Scotland every year, and so we were selected. All three of my sons have just loved the program. It's an amazing part of our arts program, and part of the mission of the school has just been a great experience for them, doing all the different aspects of it, and now, and now having this chance to do this as well. I put it out to the drama community here at PCS, and I had 18 kids decide that they wanted to come. There was never a question of, do we want to do it? It was, yes, of course, we're going to do it. How do we do it? The kids embraced the challenge and the parents have stood behind them. And um, what I see is just a real camaraderie on part of the students and even the parents. They will um, spend a lot of time in small found theater spaces um, seeing new works. And a lot of these works are bound for Broadway. And there's just a lot of street theater. The students will get a chance to see some of the sites in Scotland. They'll be staying at the college in Edinburgh and will be performing four times while we're there. So the piece we're taking to Edinburgh, Scotland is a piece that is an original piece by a gentleman by the name of John Gervatz. I'm not typically a playwright, but this is the one play that I have written. Actually, I'm a psychologist in town and work a lot with teenagers and um, children and so have an idea of where I was aiming when I was writing the play based on some of my experiences uh, working with kids. I thought, you know what, we should do an original piece. And so I approached John and asked him if he would be interested in working with us. And so I've had a group of about eight students working together since the beginning of the year with John, um, making the piece more viable for high school students. It's been an exciting process. Uh, musicians, writers, uh, all of us have just um, been taking the piece and forming it and developing characters. And, and I think it's really going to be our own, and we're all very excited about performing it. I've spent my life as a teacher of the youth, and now I must impart the awful truth. My job is arduous at best, to teach and then to test, to change these little creatures with such animalish features from something wild, unmannered, thoughtless, and uncouth. One, one of the great pleasures having written this play, is collaborating with the students at PCS. Um, these are talented kids and bright. And the rewrite and the process of the rewrite has just been wonderful. Um, I look forward to seeing the, the play completed. It's been a great experience. It's been tough, at least so far, and I know it's only going to get harder to really get things to be the way I want them to be, but I'm excited, and I think we're gonna really going to get it there. The play is called Dr. Since I Love You. There's a girl, JT. She's she's quiet, she's reserved, um, she doesn't doesn't talk very much. And she is in love with other six books. Make sure that people think good things about us when we hide parts of ourselves. Mm -hmm. And and but it's a, I mean that's a really rich concept and it's a rich part, it's a kind of a central part of what the, the, the whole thing is about. In our sixth grade class. The students have to do author reports. And Shirley wants to do hers on Dr. Seuss. Her teacher is is very traditional in his ways, and he doesn't necessarily think that Dr. Seuss is quality literature. Um, so that's where a lot of the conflict comes from. She really wants to convince her class that they should all do their reports on Dr. Seuss. And there's a scene where all the Dr. Seuss characters come and they encourage her and motivate her. It's all about loving to be alive. I wish I could say I was, Charlie. Well, maybe we... We're all working on that one. 
Okay. It's really cool that this can be a kid's play, but at the same time have a lot of adult themes. In the end, they do all the reports, and the teacher realizes that maybe he was wrong. Okay. The thought of having this play, Dr. Seuss, I Love You, put on at a, at a uh, uh, theater festival such as the Fringe Festival in, in Scotland, is just wonderful. Uh, it's a great project and I know it's going to be a great success. We're putting complete into this is what it is. We're, we're taking this completely and we're working it and making it what we want it to be. And then we're taking this internationally and performing it at the French Festival. Well, needless to say, this is a very expensive trip. We're doing a lot of fundraising this year. We're trying to raise half of what the students are going to have to pay. We're representing Santa Cruz County when we go there. And I think it's really important for the arts community to see that, and for the Santa Cruz community to see that, because it's kind of, it's like, the Santa Cruz community, the arts community of Santa Cruz is being honored at the same time that we're being honored. We're just fundraising wherever we can in whatever nook and cranny we can find it. And so we are looking for support from the community to help get these kids to Scotland. They're working really hard and um, deserve to go because they're talented and committed to making this happen. So um, I look forward to your support. Hey!